Hi everybody, this is my shoulder and ab workout from January 4th and you can see the whole workout in the description. First up is seated dumbbell presses and I did three sets of these. I did um, 10 pounds for 20 reps, 15 pounds for 12 reps, and then the last set I increased to 20 pounds and did eight reps. And with dumbbell presses you want to make sure that you keep your elbows pointing outwards and um, I like to sink mine down really deep and as you can see that I don't really bring them all the way up and together especially on heavier weights I usually just kind of come straight up on the lighter weights I might bring them together but on the heavier weights I don't and another thing here you can see from the side keep your butt up against the pad your butt and your upper back sometimes when you scoot your butt away from the pad you start to hit your upper chest more than your shoulders so you want to make sure you you keep that butt up against that that pad and next up are standing wide dumbbell presses and these are palms in and they hit your side delt really good um, when you come down you want to come down and you want to really feel that stretch in your shoulder you want to bring your elbows in and and down and you're kind of pushing up and out um, and sometimes I do these too, like a regular dumbbell press, where you're kind of pushing more straight up instead of out wide. And the out wide ones are a little bit harder, and I use them more as like a concentration exercise to really feel that stretch on the way down and then, you know, push up from the shoulder on the way up. And I did um, three sets, three sets of 12 on those. Next up are rear ups supersetted with rear delt rope pulls. And... These are a combination of upright rows and um, I don't know what you call the, <laughs> the top part, but you're you're pulling the two dumbbells up like an upright row, and when you get to the top, you're thinking of pushing your elbows back to get a squeeze in your rear delt. So you can see here from the side, pull up and then squeeze it back. And you're not trying to squeeze it back with your back, you're trying to squeeze it back with your rear delt. And these these hit your your overall shoulder really good because you get um, you get a good um, like top of your shoulder and um, rear delt squeeze really good and then so this is supersetted with the rear delt rope pulls and um, same here this is kind of like the top part of the rear up movement where you're you're thinking of pulling your elbows back to squeeze your rear rear delt and I did three of these supersets and I went um, you know the rear ups and then the rear delt rope pull and then rested and then I did that two more times so you want to make sure you rest after the two exercises you're not really going back and forth um, you can go back and forth but I just I did um, I did it as a superset so a superset or two exercises um, back to back and then you rest after that. So next up after that were rear dumbbell raises and I did two sets of 20 and then I increased the weight and did 20 reps and um, then I did a, a drop set from the from that increased weight. So I did 10 pounds for 20 reps, two sets and then 15 pounds, 20 pounds. I mean 15 pounds, 20 reps and then drop down to five pounds for 15 really strict and I've probably talked about these in some of my other videos where um, you want to make sure that you're using your rear delt to pull those up and not your back it's really easy to want to scrunch your back together here you can see from the side I put my focus right on the back of my shoulder and that's what I focus on that's moving the weight that's the only place that it's that um that's rotating is right at the, the back of my shoulder. I'm not cr trying to scrunch my back together. I'm trying to use my rear delt, have a slight bend in my elbows, and I'm pushing my elbows up. Think of that just like the side laterals. Um, same thing with this. You're just bent over, and your focus is on the rear delt instead of the side delt. Took me a long time to figure these out. And next up are seated Arnold presses with side dumbbell laterals and same here with these keep your butt up against the pad 
and your upper back. And this bothered my elbow just a little bit, so I just had to really be careful um, where I came down and how I how I did them. These these actually this superset here gave me a really really good pump, and I did I ended up doing four sets of these. Um, so did the Arnold press and then the side dumbbell laterals supersetted, and then rested. And here's the side dumbbell laterals, slight bend in your arm, and I like to think of pushing my elbow up and not my hands. I let my hands relax, and I think of my whole arm as a lever. So it's all of it's moving together, but the point I'm thinking of lifting is, is at my elbow, and I really focus on my shoulder lifting that weight too. And here I did some burns here. I did burns at the end of all the sets of the side laterals. Just burns off the bottom, 10 burns off the bottom. Next up are one arm dumbbell presses. And these I did nonstop. So I did the right side and then the left side and then the right side and left side. I did three sets back and forth nonstop until I got done. And this is 15 pounds here. I did 12 reps on the first one and 12 reps. So this is the the left side, 12 reps. So after I do this set, that'll be the first set. I immediately go back to the other side. And when you're doing these, you wanna try to um, keep your body straight. So you, you're using your core to um, not let your body twist over, or lean over, I should say, to get the weight up. I try to keep my body as straight as I can, and then you see a little pop there. I use my legs to pop it up rather than turning my body, so I'm keeping my core really tight in order to um, push the weight straight up. So that's one of the benefits of doing um, the single arm like that, where it really pulls in your core, because you have to have that, that core strong to keep your body straight. So that was the second set, and that was 10 reps. So this is the third set and the last set. And I only got eight on this side. And again, I'm using 15 pounds. And I'm using that pop to get the weight up rather than leaning over and, and you know, twisting my body. So I'm keeping my, my body straight, straight as I can, keeping my, my core tight. And you want to think of keeping your elbows out and not letting it come forward. Keep it out towards the wall. And that was three sets there. And this is the last thing here. This is um, same thing, dumbbell press, one arm dumbbell press, but it's with the palm in. And um, I only did two sets on this, and I did these the same way I did nonstop. I used a little bit lighter weight. I used 10 pounds. And um, on these, I like to really focus on really getting that stretch all the way down to feel that, that side delt stretch. These are really good for the side delts. And you want to think of keeping your elbow out. And when you come down, think of still keeping it out and sinking all the way down. And I like to watch in the mirror because I try to keep the end of the dumbbell where I can see it in the mirror, face in the mirror. That way it keeps your palm the way that it needs to be facing in. Because sometimes when you're doing these, your palm wants to kind of turn towards the mirror just because it makes it easier. When your palms face facing inwards, it makes it a little bit harder. You can't usually can't do as much weight. At least I can't anyway. But you can see my palms wanting to turn a little bit. And so I like to watch in the mirror to try to keep that into the dumbbell face in the mirror. And um, this is the last one here, I think. And um, again, these were back and forth nonstop for two sets. And this is the last shoulder thing. And then I did I did um, film just a little little bit of my my ab workout. And I got a really good pump in my shoulders with this workout. And here we go, the ab ab machine crunches. And um, probably about three weeks ago or so when I first did this machine um, using the lightest weight 10 pounds I could barely get 10 <laughs> and here I did seven sets of 15 
with the 10 pounds. So my abs have gotten stronger. I'm getting in better shape. And I really like this machine. This is kind of like the old style Nautilus machine. And um, works really good. Gets um, The first time I did it, I got really sore. All the way up, like really, really high up on my abs. And just kind of the whole thing. But I like how it crunches together. You get your your upper and lower abs. But um, I was kind of happy that um, that I could get 15 this time. And I did 7 sets. And my rest was as long as I needed until I caught my breath. And um, probably about um, anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Maybe in between sets. As it got closer to the end, the rest might have been a little bit longer. Just to let my abs um, recover and um, have a little bit of strength to get 7 sets of 15. But anyway, that was my workout. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.